Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gary from CompSciGuy IT. I hope you had a great Christmas, a happy new year, and that 2015 is treating you awesomely. Uh, before we get into this video, I just want to um, just quickly go over the new format that I'm going to try for my video tutorials. Um, basically, the last video I did was about three quarters of an hour long, and I think it was a little bit too long. Uh, whenever I see a video of that size on YouTube, um, I kind of question whether or not I want to watch it. So I uh, just think um, breaking these tutorials down into smaller bite-sized chunks might be the way to go. Uh, better for you guys, you're not you know, being overwhelmed by this really, really long video. And plus you might not get through the whole thing in one go. So finding your spot where you left off in a smaller 10, 15 minute video might be a lot better than trying to search through a 40 minute video, for instance. Also, as far as I'm concerned, Dealing with smaller file sizes, I think, will be a lot better as far as uploading them goes too. So, um, with these next few videos, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to create um, pretty much everything that I've got going on here. Um, everything from the static meshes to um, the blueprints. So, what I've got is a switch, which is this dome, this um, green dome, not yellow dome, green dome and you're able to interact with it to spawn a bomb in a random location. The bomb explodes and flies everywhere and creates a sound and all that sort of stuff. You'll notice that the switch changed colors as well and when you hit it, it changes and you're not able to hit it again and spawn another bomb until it turns back green. So if this is the sort of thing that interests you, um, if you'd like to recreate something similar in the Unreal Engine, stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun.